Oh, wow, that's a real monster coprolite there on the beach. Wow, look at that. This fossil hunting video today is called How Do I Find Fossils? And I'm heading along the Jurassic Coast at low tide and hopefully I'll find some of these beautiful ammonites preserved in the pyrite. some fun finding your own fossils along the Jurassic Coast, I recommend the safety glasses when you're doing a bit of hammering and a sieve and a plastic shovel to find the little fossils with. Well, it's gonna be an incredibly wet day here at Lyme Regis and you can see the sun disappearing there. It's going behind the clouds and the sea is up and washing the fossils out, hopefully. Well, how do I find fossils here along the Jurassic Coast? I wait for the sea's actions to wash them out of the mudslides at low tide. It's Mary Anning, the statue of the famous fossil lady of Lyme Regis. Nice and early along the Jurassic Coast. No one else is out fossil collecting and the low tide is coming along. Well, how do I find fossils? I've walked quite far down the beach today there's a few walkers out there, dog walkers, but look at this patch here on the beach. You can see what to avoid if you discard shapes like that. That's how I find fossils. It's not looking at those sort of things. There's a belemnite, the guard of the sea creature, the belemnite. You can see down there, there's quite a few artificial bits and pieces too that wash up. Just avoid those, get your eye in on those ammonite shapes or belemnite shapes as you walk down looking for the fossils that the sea has washed out. Well, how do I find fossils? I look underneath the rocks, just like this area here. You can see I'm looking underneath the rock here and you can see under the rock as I get a bit well, Looking underneath the rocks, I have spotted this larger rock here. I'm gonna try and grab that one out shortly, if I can. Let's move this massive rock here. Really big lump, let's get that out the way. And then I can see in, we go. looks like a wood stone to me. It's got wood running through it there. Funny looking stone that. Well, it certainly didn't turn out to be a wood stone. You can see an ammonite there on the edge. And the stone did have fossil wood in it, but it was more of a top stone type of nodule. So uh, that's a shame. I didn't find what I was looking for, but uh, all that glitters isn't always gold. Well, it was a shame about that stone earlier. I'm not gonna get downhearted and I found another ammonite just under this rock here. So let's have a look. So let's lift the rock. I'll come around to the other side to see if I can lift that rock. Move it, get what's underneath. Ah, uh, no, someone's had that lovely ammonite before. There's just the impression of a Asterosaurus ammonite. Well, I'm trying to show you how I find fossils at low tide here along the Jurassic Coast. And I'm not doing very well because you can have a look here and see just here as the tide starts to lower. I've got an impression of an ammonite here. Another one that's got away from me. You can see that rock that it was in. Well, how to look for fossils, looking beneath the rocks, as I said, is a good idea. You can see a belemnite just up ahead here. A fossil belemnite, the guard of that sea creature from the Jurassic period. And just down below is a piece of the pyrite, the fool's gold. Funny looking piece there. You get some odd shapes of pyrite. They're best to be avoided. And then, uh, you can go on looking for the uh, ammonite shapes, belemnite shapes, and the backbones of the ichthyosaur. Well, how do I find fossils on the beach? I've been patiently looking for hours now here, trying to collect something really good, and I think I've spotted it here on the shoreline. Can you see between the rocks what looks like a really nice fossil bone piece? I'm gonna put my hands down towards it. Can you see what I see here on the beach? I'm gonna get a bit closer. See if you can start making out what I'm looking at here. Well, that really looks like an ichthyosaur jawbone. Tide's running in over it. 
I'm gonna try and ease that out, the beach area. Wow, look at that. Really big chunk there from an ichthyosaur, washed up on the shoreline. See, it's been out to sea for quite a while. Well, you can see the uh, eroded part of the jaw, even a, a poor little tooth looks like where my thumb is there ground by the attrition of the sand and sea that would have been nice a while back see you two here on the beach just down in that pocket a little ammonite biscuit we call those someone finding a few bits and pieces that's good I've got my metal frame rucksack there in the back ground just in case I find the whole ichthyosaur well, that would be great wouldn't it but this is very water worn the ichthyosaur I've got the metal frame rucksack is a good brace against your back if you find anything really big and that's how I find fossils too using that just in case you find something a bit larger well the tide's coming in so I've not long moved from where I've got that bit of ichthyosaur jawbone you can see that down here but can you recognize anything in the background here? Oh, wow, that's a real monster coprolite there on the beach. Wow, look at that. That is a good sized fossil feces. Probably from a shark. It's got quite a convoluted nature to it. That big coprolite there from the Jurassic period. Wow, I'm doing well on this area this one area so let's see if we can find some more there's a few inclusions that it's got in it that piece of fossil well how do I find fossils on the Jurassic Coast I really have been patient enough today looking for these fossils in between the rocks nice bit of jaw very eroded but still safe from the destruction of the sea. I've got a rock down here that I've just chopped in half with the hammer and you can see signs, little detailed signs there. There might be something more inside the rock so let's hit this and see what happens. I've got sidetracked, a bit of a fun stone face on the beach. Let's hit that rock. Well, I've been spotting the impressions of ammonites on the outside to give the game away. There might be something more on the inside and you can see that ammonite as I pointed out here. So I'm gonna give it a bit of a tap, see if I can knock through the rock and cleave that ammonite out in that particular vein there. Bit of a shard coming off. There we go. The rock has split around the ammonite the line of weakness inside the rock. Look at that. It's a nice one in there. That's worth preparing. Giving this one a tap, this little laminite in here. Sadly, the end chamber is a bit hollow, so that part has cracked, but let's tap this right rock with the end of the hammer. There we go, look at that. Beautiful little ammonite there, preserved in calcite. Very nice little ammonite there, preserved in that limestone rock. The impression one side, the calcite ammonite the other side. Well, I'm following the tide back in. I'm heading along the lower parts of the beach as the tide rolls up and it's wetting the fossils and showing me what's what. Can you spot what I've spotted on the beach here? some fossil crinoid stems. Well, I'm just trying to persevere out here looking for the fossils for as long as I can in this cold weather. My hands have got really cold now, but I'm gonna last as long as I can, giving myself more chances with no one around. Look how cold they are. Let's do the brick test. I suppose they're not that red just yet. Well, it looks 
like the rain is coming down there through from the east past Golden Cap heading down towards me but I'm gonna do a bit of sieving on the beach a spot of sieving there's always time to have a go with the sieve and it's good fun time going through all the material on the beach that's pyrite where I can oh, I've spotted a balanite there you go let's see what's in this ah pyrite ammonite my hands are still really cold I'd like to be getting in the warmth at some point this afternoon whoops I dropped the catch even that's that cold but I'll uh, look behind the handle there of the uh, plastic shovel that wash up on the beaches and uh, then I can use them for the sieving and ammonite there preserved in fool's gold it was fun to get that ammonite preserved in the fool's gold and look at that lovely chunk with the sutures they're drying out now and uh, you can see more of them there on that piece of ammonite well you can see some people down there in the distance just getting back onto the seawall at church cliffs that's the cutoff point and the tide is now coming in so I've given myself enough time at low tide to look in some interesting places on the beach for fossil finds especially in the gullies and in rut pools trying to find the fossil ammonites some backbones of the ichthyosaur that sort of material but it's time to get back i put in a big effort and you've seen some reasonable finds it didn't start out very well but i persevered looking for the fossils out here through to the east of lime regis at low tide you just have to be aware of the dangerous cliffs that liable to fall suddenly and without warning i'm just heading back safely to the sea wall you can see up ahead here the cutoff point. Well, I hope you enjoyed this fossil hunting video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Well, the rain is really coming in now at Lyme Regis. What a dull dismal day but we've had some fossil finds 